What is up, everyone? Welcome in, welcome in. Excited to go over our awesome topic tonight about leveling up in all areas of our life, creating a lasting transformation because truly, you guys, we can get so tolerable on just living the normal, average, stressful, chaotic life that we can be in. We can get tolerable of that. Have you guys noticed that? Booty Bands and Barbells helps busy women sculpt and tone their bodies in just 15 minutes a day through our physical products and our one-on-one -on -one coaching. So today we're going to be really diving into eliminating the tolerance and being able to rise above and absolutely reach our goals. Oftentimes we can be stuck for 10, 30, 40, I've heard even 50 years of trying to reach a goal and what's getting in the way of that? Well, it's time to feel whole. It's time to really find out the power to start attracting your goals to you. Because this is actually what we're going to learn today is things that is actually going to start strengthening our neuro connections in our brain that is going to be related to our goals so we can get on that frequency to actually start really building that motivation to drive the change. So if you guys are ready for that, let's lean into it. Let's lean in. There's been such a great, uh, great, great things that have been coming up about just reaching goals in general. So if you're looking to reach your goals, let's go ahead and dive into what your goals are. What are you really wanting? What are we really wanting to achieve in our lives that we've, it's a, you know, great feeling, right? What, what's the emotion that comes up? My goal would be to fit into my clothes like I used to. And the feeling would be ecstatic. It would feel this sense of accomplishment. It would feel absolute joy and just confidence to be able to go through all areas of my life. Great. So that's an example, right? So if we have what's your goal and what is the emotion for you to reach that goal? Because you guys, here's the really cool thing about it, is did you know that your emotions are the power to attract your goals to you? Emotions are a critical component to effectively reaching your goals because it's strengthening those neural connections in your brain related to your goals. That's going to build the motivation to change. It's true. So oftentimes what we get when we get stuck is because we're, we're thinking, oh, we're so far off from that goal. And then when we're far off from it, we go into the feeling of what it feels like to not have it. And we sit here and think, oh man, it feels like it's hopeless. It feels like I'm too old. It feels like I can't achieve it. It feels, it feels depressing. And then guess what happens? It kills our motivation. And we, we, what our thoughts, we know our thoughts become our reality. So then if we're feeling that we can't reach it, we're so far away, well, then that becomes our truth. So what I'm teaching you guys tonight is not only to reach your goals in fitness, but in all areas of your life, let's talk about relationships. We can talk about business. We can start to really look at the grand scheme of all the areas of your life, what your goals are and how you can use the emotion to bring it closer to you. Because boy, have we been spinning in, in stuckness for far too long. All right, you guys ready for it? Okay, so first step is I want you to really think about what your goals are. Is it to fit into your clothes better? Is it to lose five pounds, 50 pounds? Is it to, is it to start living a life that's full of purpose? What are your goals? So now what we do, and we feel like, wow, it's, it would feel great if I had that. What we want to do is now we want to sync up with that so it's already in this now. So let me, I'll give you an example. I remember for so long, I was like, man, I just want to be abundant. I just want to be successful. And when I said I wanted to, what I was doing is I was actually creating my goal over here and I'm over here. So I created a sense of scarcity and I was coming from a place of lack and fear. That was my frequency that I was on. Okay. And what I realized was, emotions attract our goals to us. All right, well, how do I feel it without already getting it? So I don't know if you guys have ever had like, well, when I have my goal, then I'll be happy. 
And have you ever heard that it's supposed to be the opposite? It's you got to be happy and then your goal will then attract to you. And I just got so stuck in that for years thinking, well, how do you, how do you just be happy without having your goal? So I'm going to teach you a trick tonight on how to do it. Are you guys ready? So my goal was I wanted to be successful and abundant. I wanted to feel that. But I just kept telling myself I'm not there yet. And like I told you, I was coming from that place of lack. Lack and scarcity and fear. And so um, what I started doing is I started really looking at, well, well where, where am I already abundant? And I took a deep breath and I was like, I have an abundance of oxygen I can breathe every day. And then I just thought the oxygen going into my body. And then I sensed I have an, ab- an abundant amount of cells, like trillions of cells in my body. And my body has all these functions that, that just work successfully, effortlessly. It does it every single day without work, without force, and without struggle. Wow, I'm abundant. I'm successful. Ah, did you see how I did that? So I, I synced myself up with the gratitude of already feeling that I'm that. All right, now it's your turn. Okay, so um, the feeling fit, strong and looking great, that would make you feel great and empowered. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to think for a moment Where in your life do you already feel empowered? So I'm going to share with you um, again how I did it then. So I kept every day when I woke up, I put my feet on the ground and was like, breathe an abundant amount of air. Notice the trillions amount of cells in my body. I am absolutely made up with success and abundance. So that is the synergetic energy of emotions that we can now align ourselves with our goals to then become it. But if we go look in the mirror and say, I'm, I'm fat and I'm worthless and I am not enough, guess what we're attracting? Guess how we're demotivating ourselves? Literally, what we're doing is we're creating the disconnection of those neuron connections in our brain related to our goals. It, we lose motivation. That's driving change. And then we say, oh man, I have no motivation. Well, yeah, because you're telling yourself you're the wrong thing. Just keep coming up with ways that you think of that you, that you are already empowered. You are already great. And once you do that, then you're going to start to break the actual way to start reaching your goals. And mark my words, because it's already happening. So it, it, took me, it took me quite a while to really figure this out. And um, what I hear now, I'll, I'll give you an example, um, is I used to, when I came from that lack and scarcity and fear, man, I want to be successful and I want to be abundant. What happened is, um, a, a, you know, probably about six months, within six months, I've had a lot of people coming up to me and they're like, something's different about you. Because I remember I used to do podcasts back in 2020. And I have been having a lot of my members coming back or a lot of podcast guests coming back. And they're like, wow, you sound, you sound very different. And I'm like, oh yeah, what do I sound like? They're like, you're less desperate. And I was like, oh yeah, that's because I operated from fear and scarcity and lack to try to reach my goals. Now I'm already that. Now I'm already in my abundance and my trillions of cells and my success. I'm already aligned with it. Everything else now is just a bonus. And so that shift, what happens is it creates these tiny little changes. And and at first you're like, is it working? And then all of a sudden you start to see that everybody around you starts to notice. All right. So let's now relate this towards, let's say your health and fitness, right? So we we did this earlier. I did this earlier with um, one of our members that came on. She goes, man, if I were able to fit into my clothes again and really look in the, look and re and, and achieve my goals of my body, I would feel ecstatic. I would feel so much joy. I would feel the sense of accomplishment. I would just, oh man, it would feel so good. And I was like, all right, let's tap into those emotions now. Tell me a time in your life where you felt accomplished. And she goes, well, I felt accomplished when I went to college and I got my master's degree and when I've been able to be self-sustainable and, and you know, travel because I've been self-sustainable. I'm like, all right. You're already tapped in 
to feeling your sense of accomplishment. Good job. Now, tell me all the things in your life that bring you feeling that sense of ecstatic. And she's like, yeah, well, my, my house makes me feel that way. My husband makes me feel that way. Uh, my family, my friends, my, my animals make me feel that way. I was like, great, lean into it. Double down on that feeling because you guys, it's proven that emotions are the power to attract your goals to you. It's the critical components to really effectively reaching your goals, the neural connections in your brain related to your goals, you guys. This is what's building the motivation to change. So now what I want you to want you to do is I want you to feel it strongly. Lean into that feeling. Feel it already coming true and get excited for it. Have gratitude for what you already have and sync up to it. And that is what puts you into the alignment of your goal faster. It has it been an immense shift in my life? Absolutely. Does it work? Absolutely. These things are proven. Um, uh, there's a couple. Um, there's a couple really amazing um, meditations I listen to before I go to bed that talk about this. I don't know if any of you heard about Dr. Joe Dispenza. What a phenomenal, fascinating uh, brain scientist is he? Actually, goes behind the science of really about how to really attract our goals to us. Awesome. Um, Yeah, so that's it, you guys. I want you to really lean into your goals. I want you to really lean into your emotions of reaching your goals. And I want you to start attracting your goals a lot faster to you, okay? If you need help with this and you're like, hmm, you know, by myself, I've been doing it a lot by myself and I'm really struggling with it. I need a coach to kind of walk me through that. Go ahead and just comment I'm in down below so that I can hold your hand through that process help you find your goals and go into the emotion of your goals so you can start bringing your goals a lot faster to you, okay? Well, you guys have an amazing rest of your week. I I love it, I love it. Since you felt like this, 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 this,